Welcome back, everybody. Today we're chasing more Elder Ring. Today we're picking up all the Ghost Glove Wards. There's going to be timestamps down below. It's going to skip to the part which you need. Whatever Ghost Glove Ward you need. Also, this method is the fastest that I've found so far. You will be able to do this from level 1. You're going to be able to pick up all of them. And I'm also going to show you the in-between. There are some in-between steps. Uh, we'll get into that when we get into the video. So, first of all, I'm going to go to this place right here, as you can see, uh, which is Sofria Riverwell. The closest site of grace is going to be the, I think this is the third church of America. I don't remember. There's so many churches of America. So let's just roll the footage. And an easy place to get to here at the start. So this is going to give us the first three glove wards. The first one is very, very simple. Just right here when you get down the well. Keep to the left, keep to the left. And then next to this tree here, there is ghost glove ward number one. We get number two, we go up the lift, we take the Sight of Grace, and we just ride in a straight line here. We get number two. Also, there's a map here to the right. <laughs> Pick that up, because we're gonna need that later uh, to be able to know where we're going when we eventually get into the second part of this video. So, uh, the third one, just continue here, jump up, and there you get the third Ghost Glove Ward. Now, to get number four and number five, we need to uh, be able to get to Nocron. So that's why we're picking up the Dictus Medallion parts. The first one is going to be the right one. And it's going to be in Fort Faroe. So that's why we're picking up first. Pick up that Dictus Medallion. Next, we're picking up the Dictus Medallion left in Fort Height. I, for some reason, I, the, the video didn't get uh, recorded. Something happened. I don't know. Something with OBS. It wasn't there. <laughs> I looked, I was like, where's the footage? I'm getting to Fort Height and it wasn't there. So now we're going to Grand Lift of Dictus. We're riding up the Grand Lift of Dictus. And this is just, just to get Perfumer's Grotto. This uh, Sight of Grace, because it's still bugged in version 1.0345, whatever we're on right now. The latest version, anyways. So, I mean, in the future it might not be the latest, but the right now it's the latest, you right? So... Uh, also, I picked up the Golden Cedar. That is not necessary. All I really wanted here was the perfum Perfumer's Grotto. It's of course on the left side of this stairs here, which leads into Lindel. The capital. So, keep to the left. There's a big, big bad bear there. Keep away, keep away. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> and there's Perfumer's Grotto. Perfect. Now, you can also, of course, get into Nocron by defeating Radon. So if you already defeated Radon, this step is redundant. But if you haven't defeated Radon, this is the fastest way into Nocron. Uh, you go into the four belfries, of course, and you pick up the imbued sword key. Then you go to the place here where it says Night Sky Unceasing. You put in your stone sword key, which you, of course, found there at the top. And then immediately you teleport to Perfumer's Grotto, which we just picked up. There it is, Perfumer's Grotto. And then we quit out of the game. And this is, of course, the warp glitch. So that's going to warp us into Siofra River. Take up all your equipment now. And just yeah, run into the fog wall. Uh, I didn't take up the seal because it doesn't matter if I take up the seal. Because uh, we don't have any spells. So whatever is going to get summoned now by the mimic boss. Or the, the thing, the, our copy is not going to be able to cast any spells. You can't even see what, <laughs> what things I have, uh, what uh, abilities or what items. So the correct way to do this is just take off everything. Take off all your armor. Then when uh, the Mimic is summoned, you put on whatever weapon you have and you just defeat it with that. You get the next Lost Grace. And then we're just going to continue across the, uh, the bridge here. And I'm going to go to the left. And then we're gonna get the Sight of Grace here. And this is gonna be important for later. That's why we're picking it up. So now we can get number four and number five. Number four is very, very easy. Just right here. And next to this guy who's singing, there's number four. Then continue past him. And aim for this little uh, ruin thing, whatever it is. Sunken ruins kind of thing. And here we have number five also. Perfect. Now to get number 6, 7, 8 and 9, we need to get into Noxtella. So uh, we just run around there. We teleported back to the Sight of Grace, which we picked up earlier. And now we are running back here. I picked up the wet plate here. That's also not necessary, but uh, you can do that if you want to. 
sliding down the, uh, the thing there. And pick up this Sight of Grace. It's important for later. <laughs> pick up this up. Now we're gonna go to Karia Manor. And this is of course so that we can complete Rani's questline so that we are able to uh, get to Noxtella. If you already have access to Noxtella, you can of course skip this part and just get to the picking up of number, uh, let's see here, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Which we can all find in Noxtella, so it's like the easiest place to just get all of them at the same time. Uh, run upstairs, and then you hear just straight ahead. Don't go left there. I mean, there's a rune arc there, but just keep going straight forward there. Eh? Boom! Run past all these guys. Don't shoot left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> so you don't get hit by the arrows. And then you go up. Boom! Another side of grace. Great. Now we go out. There's a golden sea there. You can pick that up if you haven't already picked it up. And Run past these guys, dodge, 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 dodge. <laughs> and now we're gonna get to the first boss. How are we gonna beat this if you're level one, you might ask. You were advertising this doable on level one. It is doable on level one. You go into this corner, you quit out of the game. When you load back into the game, it'll take a few seconds here. Of course, you're gonna be able to kill the boss because the boss's AI is gonna be disabled. So, easy PC. It's only 10,000 runes though. It's, um, you don't get too many runes for doing this, but you get access to Rani, which is the important part. So we just smack him many, many a time with our unupgraded spear. <laughs> and we get Loretta's Great Bow and uh, Asher War Loretta. This is not needed at all. This is just because he's blocking the path to Rani. And there, I level up. <laughs> don't know why I kept that in there, but sure. That's great. Uh, three sisters. So here. This is the place we're gonna go later, just to show you there, but it's not open yet. To open that, we need to complete Rani's first quest. So we need to go past the Glintstone Dragon Adula and into Rani's Rise. I'm gonna go up, 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 pick up the Sight of Grace. This part's a little bit slow, <laughs> I could say. But I don't really, really like this quest because it's a little bit slow. I wanted there to be a faster way, but it turns out that this is actually in the end. Uh, I think this is the fastest way of doing it, if you want all the ghost glove wards as quickly as possible. You go down and you need to speak to these three spirits. You exhaust their dialogue. And then you go back up to Rani again and talk to her. Jump up here. Go and speak to Rani. She's now gonna ask us to go to Nocron. That's why we picked up the Scythe of Grace earlier. So we go to Night Sacred Ground. And we keep to the right side so we don't activate these mimics. And then we just go straight for the chest. And now we get the great, great Ghost Glove Wart. And we also get the Finger Slayer Blade, which we're of course immediately gonna teleport back and give to Rani. So we teleport back to Rani. Go back to Rani, speak to her. Get the carry an inverted statue. That's to continue a quest line. We don't need to continue the quest line, so we're not gonna do that. Instead, I just teleport it down and we're gonna run to the other tower. And at the top of this tower, of course, is gonna be a teleporter which teleports us to Noxtella. And now we're going to be able to pick up number six, seven, eight, and nine. Finally. <laughs> a little bit of preparation to be able to do it. Okay. Uh, miniature Rana there is. Not necessary, I just picked it up. It's of course cool. And uh, that golden rune is also not necessary. But in front of this little place here is a ghost glove or six, two of them in fact. I think there's one more you run past here. I'm healing up a little bit. I think there's six and seven here, yep. And then there's another seven here. Okay, so now we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the great one. Now we need 8 and 9. These are the missing ones. We just run past all the ants here. There's another 6. And uh, pick up this side of grace. There's another 7 here in the water that I just wanted to show you. Okay, and then if you continue in the water here, you get another 8. Or you get the first 8 there. And uh, then you continue on the left side, left side, left side, until you get to this lift. You go down. And then at this side of grace is gonna be number nine. And now we got all of them. <laughs> Took a little bit of time, 
but I think this is still the fastest way to do it. And you can do this as a on level one. There's nothing really difficult except running past a couple of enemies. Six, seven, eight, and nine, and the great ghost cover. That's it. See you next time.